so sorry. No. No, Jason, my baby isn't dead. I think you look like me. No offense, but I mean, maybe you'll look like me later. I don't know, but I was actually hoping you'd look like your father's side of the family. Maybe have Victor's eyes, but you look like you. <laughs> Beautiful in your own way. I guess you're an original. My little boy was so beautiful. He opened his eyes. He looked right at me. Damn, if I could go back and change what No, happened. you don't understand. Jason. This is not the baby I gave birth to. figure out who he looks like. What do you think? I know, I know this doesn't make any sense. No, it'll never make sense. This baby isn't mine. Sam. I know my own son, Jason. My baby looked like you. He was beautiful. I know, this doesn't seem right. No, my, this is not my baby. Someone took my baby and replaced it with this one. Is this spinning image of Victor? Look at him. Needy and self-involved. Drooling a little bit. Yeah, sounds like someone else right now. No, I'm, I'm serious. I, I, I don't see the resemblance. It's a newborn baby. He doesn't look like anything. Uh, I have to disagree with you there. He is very, very handsome. And he has beautiful eyes. And you can't see him right now, but they are <laughs> beautiful. And he's fair-skinned. Like Victor and you. What difference does it make who he looks like, really? What are you getting so upset about? I'm not. Believe me, for your sake, I wish you did look like Victor. Better for everybody. That's all. You sure about that? You're not listening to me. Yes, yes, I am. No, you're not, Jason. This isn't him. My baby looked like you. Well, we need to get you to the No, we have to find Sam, my son. Just, Stop Sam, it. This, this, this is him. No. I'm sorry. I wish there was something that I could do for Jason, you. Jason, no. It wasn't like with my daughter. My son was fine. He was beautiful and he was healthy. This isn't this, him. This, Please Sam, listen to me. Sam, no, Sam, he's not Sam, gone. Someone Sam, took my baby, it's Jason. Him. Okay, I'm sorry he's gone. We just need to get you to the hospital. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop this mess. <laughs> Something is obviously bothering you. Out with it already. Taya. Yes. That baby. Sorry to interrupt, but it is time to get Mr. Miracle here to the nursery. Does he really have to go? Oh, hospital policy. Yep. I just, I hate the idea of him being all alone. Well, we have a whole room full of nurses and babies to keep in company. No. OK, would it help if, uh, if he came along, put the baby in the bassinet himself? Yes, that would help if he went along. Put the baby in the bassinet yourself. Drop him, and I will kill you. Okay, there you go. Uh, see you later, sweet little baby boy. Tu mamá te quiere. Epiphany! Sam could really use your help. some help if you get her a room? Wait right here. I'll be right back. Hey, Sam. Can you tell me what happened? She had her baby in the motel room. I'll go get Dr. Rashid. I understand the child was living in a motel room? Yeah, Sam was alone with the baby when he stopped crying, and uh, she got worried when she couldn't wake him up, so she took off to get help. 
by yourself. Say I'm on my... I'm so sorry. You need to let me take it now. I know it's hard. If I let go, he's gonna be gone. He can't really be gone. He's with the angels now. He's supposed to be with me. Were you present during the delivery? No. No, she was uh, with a friend, John McBain. Have you spoken to him? Yeah, he said the delivery was uh, was normal. And when I found Sam, she was unconscious. Any idea how long she was out? No idea. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to examine her. Christina, take her to cubicle three. Yes, doctor. I'm gonna take you in for an exam, okay? There you are. Why are you hiding back up here? I didn't want to get in the way. That woman's going to be all right. <sighs> no time soon. Losing a child is nothing worse. But uh, lucky for your mama, that's not something she has to worry about, huh? Come on, let's get this little miracle to the nursery. How, how is she? Her vitals are good. Physically, your wife's gonna be fine. Any idea what happened to the baby? Why, why you didn't make it? No, uh, we're gonna have to wait for the results of the autopsy. Can I, can I see her? Yeah, of course, go right in. I'm very sorry for your loss. Please. I've administered a sedative. It should help her sleep. I'll give you a few minutes. I don't know. But if I if I had just gotten him help. Sam, you can't you can't think like that. But John said he was gonna get the car. It's, 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 it's okay. If he if he would have came back, would my son still be alive? You can't you can't blame it, Bane. Then whose fault is it, Jason? I was gonna name him Jason after his father. My son, you are so beautiful. <laughs> My perfect little boy, Todd. Bring my baby, I want to see him. I can't do that. <laughs> what do you mean? Why not? Delgado, your baby's dead. You gave me a scare, you know that? <laughs> but I knew you were alive. I knew you were strong enough to make it. <gasps> Please, my love. Why would you say something like that? My baby's not dead. He's in the nursery. That's not your baby. Of course it is. I saw you holding him. You saw me holding another baby. No. No. No, I, I told you to go get help, and you went to get help. The baby that you told me to take care of, that baby died. No, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You killed Victor? And now you killed my baby? I didn't kill your baby. <laughs> you took them both away from me? I hate you! I hate you! Todd, you okay? My 
son. I was holding him. Take it easy. You're in the hospital. You're going to be okay. Jason, how can I be okay? I just lost my baby. You want some water? I was dreaming about the baby. I was holding him and he was smiling up at me. And he looked just like I remembered. And he was beautiful. I mean, it, it, right before John went to go get the car, it sort of, I remember Jason. Oh, it seemed so real. And then I woke up. Sorry. John was supposed to take us to the hospital. I just don't understand why he didn't come back. Just, it doesn't make sense. I mean, why would John just leave us there? Where the hell is Sam? She was supposed to wait for me here. I went to the car. I'll take her to the hospital. That's when your friend showed up. You should have sent the message yourself. Then you would have seen the baby born. Sam, there's something that I need to tell you. Cheer out your mother. She doesn't know what happened yet. What happened? Is she all right? Oh, God. Mom, what is it? I'll be right there. Mom. Go inside. So who did Jason kill this time? No one. But someone's dead. Your sister's baby. You look at dream. Sure, that's it. You seem upset. I don't like hospitals. How's the kid? Hmm. You know, I thought I remembered how happy I was when Danny was born, but I'm even happier this time. Don't let that go to your head, little guy. Ms. Delgado. I'm Dr. Weber. I met you and your son in the ER last night. Yes, thank you so much for everything. It's good to see you both looking so well. Mm. Yep, they're doing great. So we can get the hell out of here, right? You'll have to forgive him. He's not known for his tact. <laughs> we can discharge the both of you today. But first, I wanted to talk to you about your baby's blood work. Did you get the results? Is everything OK? Your son's very healthy. OK. But he has one condition that might need further attention. Well, what is it? Um, Last night you said my baby was perfectly healthy. He's, he's doing really, really well overall, but his hemoglobin's a little low. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Well, why didn't you start with that? Well, you, you got to storm in here and, okay, and start God, spewing about God, a condition. And, well, come on. I mean, he's a medical professional. He should have some bedside manner. Look who's talking. Besides, I'd rather know the truth about my baby straight up. Could this be why my baby wasn't crying when he was born? You mentioned he had some difficulty after he gave birth. That's why your friend went to get help. Oh, thank God he found that woman in the woods. I, I don't know why these symptoms occurred, but I, I, I can tell you it's probably not because of this. So what do we do? Well, we should probably recheck his blood work in a few days just to see if he improves or worsens. <sighs> However, yeah, it is possible that this could be an indicator of another condition. One that's potentially serious if it runs in the baby's family. I don't know if I can see my mom or not right now, Jason. She's going to try and comfort me. Oh, I don't know what to do. She's going to want to come here and try and give me advice and make me feel better. But you know what? Nothing is going to make me feel better. I just lost my child. Do you want me to ask her to wait to visit? I don't know. And she's just going to get mad at you. And then there's Molly. Oh, no. Jason, Molly is going to be so upset. She was so excited. She was so excited to be my child birth coach. And I mean, after the first time, she had everything memorized. We were driving home in the car the other day, and she was making me practice my breathing. You know, you, you asked me to promise to love your child, and, and, and I couldn't You know what, we, 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 we really don't have to go through yeah, this yes, again. Yes, we do. There's something important I need to tell you. You know, when we were a 
Robert Kelly's before the, the reporter walked in, you said that you knew in your heart that I could learn to love the baby. That and doesn't I, matter you know, now, so I, I Jason. Just, I thought a lot about what you said, and then Carly came by. Carly? Wait, wait a minute. So this is about Carly? You know, we had to talk about you and me. And oh, you had a talk. Of course you had a talk, because you can talk to Carly about anything. So she, she knows she you better made, than anyone. She made me realize that... What? Let me guess. Carly blamed me for something. That's not what happened. So you're saying my son might have a, a genetic disorder? A blood disorder called beta thalassemia. What is that? Well, it's also been called Mediterranean anemia since it's common in people of Italian or Greek ancestry. My baby just died, Jason. I really don't care what Carly said to you. I don't want to listen to you defending her either. I'm sorry. Is this not a good time? No, actually, it's fine. What? Sweetie, I'm so sorry. It's not fair. You would have been the best mother ever. Thank you, Molly. We wanted to see you, if it's okay. Yeah, of course it's okay. Look, I'm not Greek or Italian. I'm 100% Puerto Rican. Beta thalassemia Shh. might still be a possibility. It is found in other nationalities, just not as common. Well, then why are we worried about it? It, it, it could be any number of things, right? Anemia can have several causes, and I, I didn't mean to alarm you. I just wanted you to be aware of the possibility, just in case new symptoms develop. Thanks. I appreciate that. Any information you need should be in here. Is there any way to find out right now if Victor has this disease? Sure, yeah. If you want to stay another day in Port Charles, I can schedule a battery of genetic tests. Can I just take this woman's baby? Have you got a better idea? You just said you couldn't tell that woman outside about her dead son. Should be pretty straightforward to screen your son for any genetic disorders. I know. Todd, I am tolerating your presence because you happen to have brought this baby into the world and have saved his life, but his medical care is none of your concern, okay? okay? That, that would be true, okay? But I've already spoken to your doctor in Landview. Vivian? And I, I thought she might want to know that you had a baby, and she can have everything arranged and ready to go by the time we get back to Landview. Yeah, but, I mean, that could take a couple of days. I've already got a plane at the Port Charles Airport. All I got to do is call us a car. You did all that this morning? Don't you want to see Danny? And and you said there's no rush for these tests, right? No. Okay. They can be done. They need done. Super. Let's go home. I do want to introduce this little guy to his sister. Okay, then. I'll go get us a car. John McBain delivered the baby in a motel room? Yeah, I, um, I went to talk to him about Jason, you know, what happened at Beecher's Corner, and I had a contraction. I thought it was Braxton Hicks and until my water broke. Why didn't John drive you to the hospital? Uh, he, he wanted to. He tried to call an ambulance, but all the cell phone towers and the landlines were down because of the storm. So you had the baby right there without a doctor or anything? Yeah, I did, and John was great. Everything was perfect. The baby was crying, I was crying, and... And then it wasn't perfect. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys talk. I understand why John didn't get you to the hospital before the birth, but why didn't he take you after? Well, that that was the thing. John left to go get the car, and then I I, I don't know what happened. He never came back for us. Have you? Morgan's breakfast. Oh, uh, her mother and sisters are in with her right now. I'm so sorry she lost her baby. I went to the um, motel desk and the night clerk was gone and I tried to use the phone and that didn't work, so... I went out to the road, hoping someone would pass by and I would get a ride. You must have been so desperate. Yeah, I, I would I would say so. And the road was closed because of the storm. And, um, and I, I saw a light, and I, I just started following it, and I went toward it, and there was this shack there. And I was so weak by the time that I got there that I, I, I put the baby down 
and I went inside hoping I could get some help. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I guess I must have passed out because I woke up and, and, and Jason was there and he told me my baby had died. Sam, I'm so sorry. I tried to convince myself that it didn't happen, you know, that somebody had switched the babies, that this couldn't have been my son. I know that's impossible. Well, of course just, you didn't want to believe your baby had died. That's, that's perfectly understandable. I just don't understand. I don't understand how this happened. I, I, I don't understand, like, why did my, why did my baby die? I'm gonna go get Dr. Lee if she needs to give you some answers. I don't think we've met. You're Todd Manning, correct? Uh, what are you doing outside my daughter's room? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I just wish there was something I could do for you. Thank you. I'll see you later. Mm. Okay. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. You sure you don't want anything? I bet the gift shop has good magazines here. No, I'm okay, thank you. I'm just, I'm really glad that you're home. I'm happy you came to see me, it means a lot. Of course I'd come to see you. You're my sister. I'd do anything for you. Are you sure you're okay? I'm just tired. Okay, well, I'm gonna let you get some rest and I'll go check out those magazines for you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Hey. How, how's Sam? Uh, she's doing as well as it can be expected. I'm, I'm looking for Dr. Lee. Yeah, I haven't seen her. Well, uh, Sam has a lot of questions, so I, I think I'm going to have her paged. I'm sorry about the baby. Are you? Sorry, Sam lost her son. Her son? Not yours. Sam made it very clear that you weren't going to accept Franco's baby. I wonder if maybe you had shown just a tad bit more generosity, a little more compassion that she would have been with you last night and not at a lousy motel giving birth in the middle of a storm. And then I would have my grandson right now. I gotta find the doctor, excuse me. Make sure you come back for your follow-up. I'll try. And in the meantime, try to stay away from those brick walls. Right. Really great. I am so excited to introduce my little man to his sister and to his cousins. Shoot, I forgot that uh, pamphlet Dr. Weber gave me back in my oh, room. Don't worry, I'll get it. Thank you, Oni. Mommy is so forgetful, so all I can think about is you.